Hey everybody, this is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. Today what I have for you, this is a website called Spacemart. Spacemart.com. Here's the actual list of the whole address. Um, and I'll post a link to this website in the description of the video. But what this particular article is talking about is Toyota is going to be launching car of the future in the US in 2015. Whether that will actually happen or not, you never know, but that would be awesome if it did. Um, hydrogen fuel cells, you know, as we as, you know, garage experimenters, backyard experimenters and all that, we know that this is something that would be coming. Um, and many of us, to our advantage, already know how to make the hydrogen on demand. So what that means is we could purchase one of these cars that is where the engine is already made to work specifically with hydrogen. So it will run at the burn rate of the hydrogen um, and work, work at its optimum capabilities because it is made for hydrogen. So, when these cars come out, you know, there's probably going to be regulations put on this crap so that we can't make our own fuel, but, well, we'll there's always ways to get around that. But, I actually wanted to do this. I've been wanting to do it for a few years now. Uh, I wanted to convert one of my vehicles over to run on hydrogen, adjust the timing and stuff. Uh, there's a good website that has computer chips. It's called it's Jet Performance is the name of it. And they have chips that you can plug into your car to adjust all kinds of stuff. You can adjust air to fuel ratios, you can adjust the timing just by the touch of a button. Um there's preset adjustments to like boost your power and boost boost fuel economy and stuff, but then there's manual adjustments so that you can adjust the timing of your engine and air to fuel ratios and whether your car runs lean or runs rich um, so that's a good chip to have or to get if you wanted to experiment with hydrogen because it, it's something that you could use on the fly you don't have to get under your hood and adjust the, the timing you don't have to turn the distributor or anything like that um, but what I want to do eventually is purchase one of these vehicles that will come out. Um, and since it will already be tuned to work with hydrogen, I'll build my own fueling station, a solar power fueling station. Basically what I will have is a hydrogen, the HHO fuel cell, and I will make it a split cell. And then I'll have holding tanks that I will run that hydrogen and oxygen into. Um, I'll have one tank for hydrogen and then one tank for oxygen. And then, uh, so what I'll have to do is I'll have to install an oxygen holding tank in the car as well. They'll have the hydrogen one already, but you might as well not waste the oxygen and just put it out into the atmosphere. You might as well store it and use it um, to help boost um, your car boost the burn rate of, of everything or make it so that it, the hydrogen burns better. Um, so that's what, that's what I plan to do in the future at some point. But um, the awesome thing about this is can you imagine purchasing the materials to make your own solar powered fueling station? Once the cost of what it took to be able to make that is paid off, um, then everything after that, all the all of the hydrogen and oxygen that you make after that, it's basically a profit because you're saving that money. You're you're saving yourself that money that you would have used on uh, like gasoline to power your car. So. 
it is an investment that would be well worth doing because you would get a return of your money pretty quickly. Because I don't know about you, but I spend thousands of dollars every year on fuel. Yeah, I do the fuel vaporization stuff, but that's not at the point to where I can have it work in my car all the time because it's got all, I got a lot further to go with it. But imagine the savings. You could pretty much travel anywhere. you had a car like this, a car that ran on hydrogen. Um, I also came up with a, uh, a portable hydrogen fueling station. So if you went on a long trip or you travel a lot, um, it's basically a portable trailer that you pull behind you that makes the hydrogen and oxygen um, right there just uh, you know all day long as you're driving or whether you're parked or whatever. Um, it'll have the solar array set up on it and it'll be making the hydrogen and oxygen all the time, as long as there's sunlight. But it's about all I wanted to share. Kind of run this a little bit long. I don't like to make videos too long because it bores you guys. But that's it. Toyota to launch the car of the future in the U.S. in 2015. Guess we'll see. This is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. Over and out.